Welcome back to the Tech Motor channel and the next video in the series of the Ultimate Log Cabin. In today's video we're going to be installing mood lighting. Around the outsides of our cabin um, we've got uh, LED strips. The LED strips are uh, addressable which means that you can program them using an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi uh, to turn each individual LED in the strip to a different colour to a different level uh, and you can you know, have absolute control of the LED strips. Um, we have to put a special power supply in because um, there's 900 LEDs in total um, which consumes um, a high ampage of 5 volts. Actually overall, across all the lights, on 240 volts it draws less than a halogen bulb, just one halogen bulb. Um, but because it reduces it to 5 volts, it actually needs quite a high ampage, so we've got these special power supplies. So what we're going to do is we're going to install the power supplies, install the Arduinos, plug it into the computer and see if we can set up uh, Jarvis with a few uh, cool um, mood lighting options. Okay, so got the power supply mounted nicely in this gap here. Um, there's 240 volts going to these pins here, so we're going to put a lump of wood over here to uh, to protect those terminals. But this doesn't give off that much heat because uh, it's only a five volt power supply. Um, then above it, we've got our three Arduinos, um, and the Arduinos are connected to a USB hub up there, so that one USB cable is going back to uh, Jarvis. And then each one of these Arduinos is running one light strip um, so we can have individual addressable LEDs. Um, then across the back of this beam here we have our LED strip but we also have a cable running um, and that cable goes off to the computer which is over here um, in the corner. So when we're running um, Jarvis Jarvis will send a signal up the USB cable uh, into the centre of the roof. It'll come down here to the USB hub. That will then go to all three of these Arduinos, and these Arduinos are powered by the power supply. Um, so, next thing to do is to hook up all of these individual cables from each one of the um, addressable LED strips. Okay, so there's an important concept here um, that I need to touch on, um, which is called common negative. Um, so what we're doing is we're wiring three Arduinos together, we've got an external power supply, um, everything's going to be wired as one pretty much, so we're going to use one power supply for all three Arduinos, um, and we're also going to use that power supply to supply power to three individual LED strips. Now that means that you can connect um, all of the positive power supplies to the LED strips directly to the positive on the power supply. Um, the negative, however, needs to be connected to the power supply and all three Arduinos, and that's called a common negative. So the negative is common across all elements of the circuitry. Um, the green ones in the middle, they're going to be our data cables, and the data cables are going to be um, where the signal comes from the computer to tell the LED addressable lights what to do. Um, so pretty simple, three wires for each LED strip into each of the three Arduinos, common negative, um, and then we can program it with the computer. Okay, so we're all hooked up. Uh, it's not particularly pretty, but I'll tidy the wires up in a minute. Um, nice thing about Wagos is that they come with these little um, attachments. I'm sure you know. They come with these little attachments so you can screw them to the wall um, and neaten things up. Uh, but for now, I've just got all the wires going into Wagos. All three Arduinos are powered. They have a common earth. This power supply is powered up. Um, and we're just running it to a plug at the moment, but we'll run that through the wall. Um, but yeah, all good. USB's all hooked up. So we should be able to see these on my computer now. Okay, so let's jump onto the computer and have a look at our code. Now the first thing to do is to see whether the computer can see our Arduino. So we come up to tools, 
we go to port and you can see com 10 a 9 arduino uno 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 so that's our three unos on the wall okay the next thing you want to do is go to google and type in fast led as in fast led or one word and that'll take you to the fast led animation library and if you scroll down here there's download the library you need this in your arduino program um, to run your addressable leds so once you've downloaded your library, it will uh, be in the form of a zip file. So you then come back to your Arduino uh, programming software and you come into um, Sketch, Include Library and Add.zip Library. And when you click on that, you just find the file you've downloaded online um, and click Go and it should add it to your libraries. Once you've done that, you can go up to File and then uh, Examples. And at the bottom of examples um, is fast LED. Now you might have other libraries that you've installed which are below this, but for me it's the bottom one. Um, and in here there's a few examples. So you've got Pacifica, which gives you sort of like an ocean feel. Um, there's Twinkle Fox, there's all sorts of different types. Um, so just have a play with those to start with. So before your um, Arduino will actually output to the LED strip, there's a few things you need to change. Firstly, the number of LEDs. So on my um, strip, I've got 300. And then I've actually taken my uh, green wire to pin five of the Arduino. Uh, that's it, really. Then you just hit go, upload it to the board. Uh, you do get a bit of red text down here, but that's fine. It's not an error. Um, it's just telling you information about who wrote it and so on and so forth, which version it is. Um, and then it's it's there and um, you end up with your LEDs lighting up as you wanted them to. OK, so for those of you that want to do uh, your own programming and uh, program your own lights and your own colours and things, I've included just a simple uh, program that does it without all of that fast uh, LED stuff. Um, but you still need the fast LED library installed. So the first thing is it sets up our strips. So I've got 300 lights, uh, I've got my pin 5, and I've set a speed for my lights because I've got them cycling and sequencing in. Um, then it just sets up your lights, and then down here it's got our loop. Now, all I've done is uh, for light 0, because of course in programming uh, the first number is 0, uh, for 0 to 299, um, I want you to turn the lights on and this is the colour, so this is uh, red, green, blue. So that, at the moment, 255, that's very blue. Um, none of the other colours, so that's just going to be the blue light and it's going to turn on one by one at a speed of 200. It'll then, when it gets to the end, it'll go from 299 and it'll minus this time down to zero and it's going to put it back to 000, zero, zero which is off effectively and it's got a 0.2 of a second delay so it'll turn them all on one by one until it gets to 300 and then it'll come down here and it'll turn them all off at 0.2 of a delay um, so that's it really it's really simple you can play with this to your heart's content you can put different colors in you can have a sequence of lights you can tell it to turn on and off um, when doors open or when you give certain commands or, or whatever um, but it's quite good fun to have a bit of a play with Okay, so I'm going to show you a few examples. I had to wait for it to get dark so I could show you this. Um, but I've just set it to blue. So we've got nice blue lights around the outside of the workshop. Um, and it gives a nice ambient sort of blue colour. Um, so if we come back to our programming language here and we change it from uh, blue. So let's take 255 off that and we'll put 255 in here and then send that to the lights and it'll change the colour and it'll sequence them on for me which is pretty cool equally if we come up here to examples and we go to fast LED and we put on um, let's put Pacifica need to change the data pin to 5 oh, that's 6, 5 and number of LEDs, 300, and then we send that. And then that should change to a sort of ocean feel, so blue sort of uh, with a reflective light. There it comes. So you can just about see it flickering. Okay, let's try a different one. So we've loaded up one that's called Demo Reel. So we'll load that up. And let's see what it does. There we go. So you see all the different colours. 
and the lights are all rainbow at the moment. You can see them sort of cycling through. It's got a little sort of starburst on it, so it's blinking every now and again. So I'm going to end the video there. Um, if you want more details on how to set these lights up and where to get them from, uh, I'm going to be posting a video on a different series on my electronic series within the next couple of days. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Uh, but for now, that's the end of this video. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.